Hello, welcome to this MM Guardian tutorial video. My name is Coley, and in this video, I will be walking you through the process of installing the MM Guardian Child app onto your child's Android device. If your child has an iPhone, you're going to want to look for the Child iPhone app installation video. I do recommend installing the Parent app on your own phone first if you haven't done that already, but you can do this in whichever order that you want. All right, let's jump into it. You're going to start by getting hold of your child's phone and opening the Play Store where you will search for MM Guardian. You'll see that there are two MM Guardian apps that show up. The first app with the mostly gray icon and the higher 4.2 star rating is the parent app that you will put on your own phone. So that is not what we want right now. We are going to download the second app with the mostly green icon and a lower two star rating, which is what goes on the child's phone. Select the child app and tap the install button, just like you would for any other app and wait for it to download. You'll notice all of the one star ratings at the bottom from all the kids who don't like having the apps, the app on their phones. Once the app has downloaded, you can open it. The first few intro slides go over some of the features available, but I'm just going to skip that for now. The first permission is enabling the MM Guardian messaging app. Tap continue and set it as the default. And then set up the controls. If you've already signed up for MM Guardian in your parent app, you're going to tap yes here and then log in with the email address and password that you used to register your original MM Guardian account. You can find that email address in the upper left corner of your parent app if you don't remember what it is. For this video, I'm going to set up a new account. Next are the standard terms of service and privacy agreements. We take the privacy of our users extremely seriously and we don't share data with third parties or sell it or anything like that. Once you're past that, you're going to create a new account if you haven't already. I'm just going to put some dummy info here. The first permission you'll be enabling is location, which is necessary for getting your child's location, which you can do either on demand or according to a schedule. Make sure you set it to allow all the time. And if your child has an Android 11 phone, you might need to go into settings to enable it, but it'll be the same option, allow all the time. Next up is the draw over permission, which, which helps prevent your child from bypassing MM Guardian's lock screens. Tap enable and then scroll down until you find MM Guardian and then turn it on. You'll then be automatically taken back to the app to turn on the accessibility permission. This permission is necessary for reporting your child's usage data so that you can see it in your parent app. Tap enable again, and the screen that it takes you to might be a bit different depending on your child's phone model. So you might have to look around a bit if it doesn't look like this, but here it's going to be the install services option. So tap that, there's MM Guardian, and we're going to turn it on. Once again, you'll be taken back to the MM Guardian app to turn on the uninstall protection, which will further help protect against your child tampering with the app. So just tap that to activate it and activate. And we're almost there, last one. The final permission is for social media message monitoring. So if you wish to monitor your child's social media apps, you'll need to turn this on. So just tap yes, and then turn that on, and tap allow. If you haven't installed the parent app, you can send yourself a link to make the process easier. Otherwise, you can just skip. Once you've done that, you'll be good to go. These are all the options for configuring your child's device, but I recommend doing that from your parent app. If your child has a phone running Android 10 or later and you want to block incoming calls, you should click on contact block and set MM Guardian as the call screening app.
A few final notes. We do have a version of MM Guardian that you can download directly from us instead of the Play Store, which has a lot of extra benefits due to not being restricted by Play Store's rules. If you're interested in learning more about that, you can watch the tutorial video on how to install the direct download version of MM Guardian. If you do have the app from the Play Store, I highly recommend setting it to update automatically, which you can do in the Play Store. As always, if you ever have any questions or require assistance, please email support at mmguardian.com and our support team will be more than happy to assist you. Thanks for watching.